What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down this Beach Boys classic right now. And also, real quick, you know, if you haven't yet, I appreciate so much if you were to subscribe here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. Uh, and then also link down there for some great resources, including some free courses that I think will help you out. Uh, and thank you for that. All right, here we go. All right, so the intro is also basically the same chords as the chorus. So we can do that right now. It's A major to E, but it's got the third in the bass, so a G sharp. So you can play this. So I've got second fret of the D string, fourth fret of the G, fifth fret of the B. My middle finger is on that fourth fret E it's muting the A string, just naturally running across it. I'm not barring, I'm hitting that and letting it touch the A so it mutes. And that's called E slash G sharp, or E over F sharp. So A, E over F, G sharp, A. Same thing again. This time bass comes in, E over G sharp, F sharp minor, E. With, at, with the opening in the bass. Um, so a lot of times when you get those inversions, it's it has to do with like cool movement of the bass line and the alternate movement of the chords. So that's also. You can play F sharp minor seven as well, if you like that little bit of extra jazz flavor. Obviously, it's not guitar on the recording, so there's different vocals and keyboards and different instruments, so you could play that F sharp minor seven or F regular F sharp minor. Okay, so then there's a little into the verse, and so the last Part of the intro, A, E over G sharp, F sharp minor, E, and it cuts off, and then it sounds weird, but it's O, two, three, into the... you know, melody. So next it's D over A. So <laughs> I can't sing it. So it's a D chord to B minor, but the D has an A in the bass. So you could also look at it as a type of A suspended chord, because if you're thinking of it as a type of A chord with the A in the bass, or it could be an inversion, D major, with the fifth in the bass. So you could play it that way, or you could play it this way with the D and that open A. You can control it more this way, but it's the same chord. So D over A to B minor. So you can do it there as well. So after the B minor chord is F sharp minor and minor seven. That adds a nice movement. Once again, it's just a choice because that's not guitar playing it on the recording, but you could add that. And then B7 or, or, so from the top of the verse, D over A, D over A to B minor, F sharp minor seven, B seven, yeah, yeah. Then E major, but with a B in the bass. So you could do that, or you could do that. So E over B. And then 
next chord is a diminished chord, but don't let that scare you. It's, it's not really a hard chord. And the great thing about diminished chords is it's the same shape everywhere on the guitar. Any root, any note of a diminished chord can be that root's diminished chord. So if we're looking for a C diminished, and I'm up in this area, I have a shape memorized where I actually do use my thumb for the root, or at least to target it. You need that low root in there. But you have this one, same shape, right there. So either way, you're good. So you can... Um, So the E over B, dun, 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 C diminished, dun, 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 dun. and I'm going to show you that voicing, and then back to E over B, and then one other not as often used chord, jazzy chord, um, B flat minor seven five five. And it's just a beautiful set of chords. It sounds amazing with the melody. It's absolutely iconic, gorgeous. It's amazing. So E, C diminished, E over B, B flat, minor seven, flat five, A, E over G sharp, F sharp minor seven, E. And the good news is it starts all over again. So let me show you that that um, diminished. Any note can be the root of a diminished chord. Uh, it's C diminished, so you could have your thumb on the C note, or think of it as the ring finger on the 10th fret D string. So you have middle finger on the 9th fret of the A string there. And so if I'm playing it down here, I can find it. That is the root. Same notes, different configuration, which is cool about diminished chords. So ninth fret, ring finger on 10th fret D. Index on the 8th of the G and pinky on the 10th of the B. Exact same voicing where the middle finger starts on the third there. You can do that. So the E over B instead of this one, you can play an E chord and for, mute the low E. So. Same chords up here. It's just different voicings. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it up in this area. So you have a diminished chord. Back to the E major with the B in the bass. Pretty easy to play that way. And then a half step down. Really, I should call it A sharp minor 7 flat 5, but I'm just, for now, I'm going to B flat. <clears throat> Same note. So to play that one, there's the two classic voicings are the E root and the A root version of it. So the E root version of it, you don't see a lot, but it looks like that. So I find it, the root on the E string, so that's the B flat or the A sharp. So sixth fret, ring finger on the sixth fret of the D, so the A string's just muted. And then pinky on the sixth fret G. And then index is just scooted back on the fifth fret B. No high E string. The um, same chord, A sharp minor seven flat five. You could also call it A sharp half diminished. At least I used to be able to call that at one point. I think I still can. Um, it would look like this with the A root. So first fret A string and first fret G string. And then ring finger on the second fret D. Pinky on second fret B.
All right? And then, God only knows is what we learned in the intro. So, A, which you can play right there. A, E over G sharp, F sharp minor, 7, E, O, 2, 3 on the E, right back through it. So shall we review one more time the verse? D over A, B minor, yeah, yeah. F sharp minor, seven, B seven. E over B, C diminished. E over B, B flat half diminished. A, E over G sharp, F sharp minor, E. Oh. That gets you through all the song, actually, um, because there's the bridge, which is like the ba 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 yada 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 yadas. <laughs> Real fan, that's the fancy music Rick Beato term for that. Uh, no, just kidding. Love Rick Beato. Shout out. Been getting shout outs lately, but it's love and respect. So the bridge chords, G to E minor, B minor, B minor seven, E7, and then A, but with the E in the bass. So then you can go to F diminished, then A over E again, and then E flat half diminished. Into the chorus, but now in the key of D. So basically what happened was it transposed to another key to D. And then it does the chorus in the key of E. And then transitions back to the original key. So check it out. Bridge. One more time. G. And this is all ba, 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 da, 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 you know, Beach Boys E stuff. G, E minor, B minor, B minor 7, E7. A over E, F diminished, and by the way, no new shape to learn. It's just, you can play it, second fret A, third fret D, first fret G, third fret B. It's the same shape we use for that and that, but just down here. So anywhere you can see an F in this shape, which happens to be right there or with the thumb. And the point of A over E is so you can go, You know, uh, so. And then a half step down, but we don't have E flat on the guitar, so we have to move it to this half diminished shape, which, oh, could be also right here, which we had done for this one. But for. This one is the best one. And you can also think of that classic D shape right there. So that's easy because that's some muscle memory that's already there. And then, boom, add your pinky. So that's 6th fret, 7th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret. So the bridge one more time. G, E minor, B minor, B minor 7, E7, and then A. F diminished, A, E flat, half diminished. And then we're gonna do the chorus in the key of D, of D, so D bar chord, A over C sharp, just like we did E over G sharp, but now it's up here. Boom, that's the ninth fret. So, then B minor. But then it transitions to the
All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Once again, thank you so much for your continued support. Really, really appreciate it, especially subscribing to the channel. And then links down there for great resources, including a bunch of free courses that you'll get when you sign my newsletter. So thank you for that, and hope to see you again. Take care.